I always knew I could play at the next level. I, I always had a chip on my shoulder to prove, you know, prove people wrong. I was doubted from the beginning just because of my size and to come and play for the University of Alabama. It just kind of motivated me more to keep pushing and keep, just keep grinding. Going into that, that Southern Miss game, we actually found ourselves down. We, we started doing our two minute drill right before the half and uh, they actually got us to a fourth and 12. You know, we just kind of made up our minds to go for it there and uh, you know, one on one I didn't feel I could be guarded. You know, for me, it was just a routine catch. I saw the ball the whole time as the ball was coming down. When I threw my hands up, he happened to be in between my arms, and, you know, the ball just happened to fall where, you know, I knew it would fall. And once it hit my hand, I, I wasn't going to let go of it. We knew coming into the Florida game that, uh, you know, it was the biggest game, you know, of our season at that point. And that whole week of practice, everybody was focused. You know, I woke up that morning, you know, just with a feeling that, you know, I'm going to have a big game today, I, and I honestly felt like that. I was having the, you know, pretty much the best game of my career. You know, I tell a lot of people that this is the, uh, the best game of my career and the, the worst game of my career all in one. And we knew their cornerbacks were playing, uh, playing really aggressive. You know, I ran a hitch and go, um, and the cornerback, he bit up on it, you know, pretty bad, and I, you know, I had him beat pretty bad, and, you know, Brody actually had to throw off his back foot, which, made, you know, caused the ball to float and uh, caused me to, you know, to jump the way I did. I really didn't feel anything. When your body goes through, uh, I guess something as dramatic as that. When uh, the trainers came over there, they told me just to roll over and, and stay down. A lot of people say that, you know, Brian Danny was so quiet that you could hear a pin drop. You know, being carted off the field and, and, and just kind of determining, you know, what, you know, what are my options. It never came across my head that I, that I wasn't going to be able to play again. It really wasn't really until after I graduated uh, that I just kind of, you know, accepted it myself and moved on with my life. My relationship with the University of Alabama has always been good. This is definitely my home. Tuscaloosa is where I live, so it's home to me.